Enjoy the warm, tranquil weather while you can because things are going to be changing next week. Let's talk about it in this Friday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. It is not really morning, but who counts who who? It's actually apparently time to watch the intro again. So we'll just do that since I didn't let the audio play the first time around. Hey, guess what? It's still Friday, the 24th of January, 2025. I'm Texas Weather Center's Baldy and Chief David Reimer. First off, want to say we're going to be doing a live Q&A session and chat with our Spinny Doomers and Super Duper members here on the Texas Weather Center. That is tonight, Friday, the 24th of January at 9 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Mountain, 10 p.m. Eastern. And if you're on the Pacific coast you can do your own conversion because that's how we do things here in texas i'm sorry but we do love you if it makes you feel better we are going to be looking at active weather going into the weekend and next week with multiple upper level storm systems as we get back into a active precipitous weather pattern but today Nope. Today is a beautiful day across the state. We're looking at mostly sunny skies nearly statewide. We will see increasing cloud cover going into tonight and Saturday across the state, but things will remain on the warm side of the temperature spectrum, which is nice given the weather over the last couple of weeks has been anything but steady. As we go into Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and Sunday, we will see increasing chances of showers across the eastern half of the state, especially tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and then much more so going into Sunday. At this time, no winter weather is expected, and severe weather mischief in the sense of angry stormies not likely either. Take a look at the wildfire outlook for the next few days. Today actually is going to feature very high fire danger across the Panhandle, West Texas, Northwest Texas, the Big Country, the Hill Country, the Edwards Plateau, the Permian Basin, the Trans-Pecos into the Davis Mounds, Guadalupe Mounds, and the Big Bend. So we go into Saturday, that risk will be more confined to far West Texas, the mountains and the trans pecos and then on sunday we can all calm down fire weather wise and deal with different kinds of weather mischief take a look At the Long Range American Weather Model, the Global Forecast System, scattered showers and thunderstorms are expected on Sunday, especially the afternoon and evening hours across the eastern third to eastern half of the state, especially along and east of Interstate 35. A couple of the storms may produce small hail, but severe thunderstorm mischief in the sense of larger hail, tornadoes damaging winds is not expected. Likewise, tornadoes and winter mischief are not on the bingo card either. We're going to stay pretty cloudy on Monday, maybe a bit of a lull, and then as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll start to see the opportunity for some scattered showers across the eastern two-thirds of the state, and then going into, well, Thursday next week, Wednesday, Thursday next week. Things could get a little interesting with various weather models showing a potent upper level storm system impacting our part of the United States. Now, at this point, we're talking about a system five, six, seven days away. So things will change, but it certainly has the potential to be interesting uh, if various data right now is right. And (laughs) it's not, given we've dealt with two winter storms now that, like we said, would throw surprises within the 24-hour mark, and they did. Uh, We could be dealing with winter mischief across parts of the western third of Texas, the Panhandle, West Texas, the Permian Basin, with maybe some more robust thunderstorm development across the eastern half of Texas next Thursday. Some of those storms could be rowdy and strong if these model solutions were to verify. And they won't, because we're talking about a week out but both the european and american weather model data sets are showing this system so we will likely have to deal with something around thursday of next week but the specifics of which remain uncertain outside of the fact we may see some winter weather western third of the state and then maybe a lot of rain across at least the eastern half of texas if not more in fact if this is right most of the state's going to see beneficial precipitation at one point or another next week forecast rain totals over the next five days this takes us through 6 a.m wednesday so this does not include the big system heading into thursday next week but the potential for one to two inches of rain across east texas the brazos valley southeast texas and the golden triangle with lesser amounts extending back southwest into the coastal plains the coastal bend 
Texoma, the Arklatex, and South Central Texas. Hi, dog. I'm glad you learned how to barge in places still. That's very cute and cuddly, especially when I'm making a video. But you know what? That's why we just talk and smile and wave, and maybe we'll make a t-shirt for you. Uh, you can see lighter rain amounts possible across western Texas as well. But again, the big system is going to be next Thursday, it looks like. And these rain totals for the system Sunday and uh, any early week system, they may go up a bit. But at this point, next Thursday seems to be the big one in terms of the next seven days of stormy, interesting weather potential. Today's high temperatures across the state, not bad. We're looking at 50s and 60s statewide with 40s out in the borderland of far west Texas, El Paso, along with the higher terrain in the Guadalupe Mounds. But hey, you know what? It's a surefire win over the last several days where highs didn't get above freezing for some folks. Tonight, we're looking at mostly lows up in the 20s across the panhandle west Texas, higher terrain of the western third of Texas with a light freeze possible across the eastern 75% of the state, lows generally in the 30s with 40s along the immediate Texas Gulf Coast and deep south Texas. Going into Saturday, much warmer conditions across the southeastern two-thirds to 75 percent of the state with highs in the upper 50s, 60s, and 70s. But you can see next crashy the cold front coming on into the panhandle west Texas. It's going to be a chilly day for our folks up in Dowhart, Amarillo, Perryton, Canadian, Pampa, Lubbock, Plainview, Dimmit, highs in the 30s and 40s, wind chills not in the pleasant territory. And then as we go into tomorrow night, you can definitely see that much colder air mass is settled into the northwestern 40% of the state. Low temperatures back down into the teens. Panhandle West Texas freeze across northwest Texas, the big country, the Permian Basin, down into the Trans-Pecos, with lows actually much warmer for the southeastern half of the state. Only the 50s and 60s is moisture it vex inland ahead of our storm system on Sunday. We'll probably see a lot of low clouds and maybe even fog across the southeastern half of Texas Saturday night with increasing showers and eventually storms. Sunday, you can see a cold front coming on down, colder across the northern two-thirds of the state, highs mostly in the 40s, 50s. South of that cold front, it's in the 60s and 70s. It may even be 80 in McAllen Sunday afternoon. Enjoy it as we go into Monday. It's a bit cooler, but still really that hasn't brought a big arctic surge of air to the state outside of i guess tomorrow in the panhandle highs in the 50s northern half of the state 60s and 70s southern half of texas and then as we get into tuesday we start to see the warm air advect north once again a good chunk of the state high temperatures in the 60s and 70s 50s up in the panhandle in west texas but that warming trend will continue into wednesday ahead of our perhaps impactful storm system on thursday Looking ahead, you can see the Climate Prediction Center anticipating above average temperatures across portions of the eastern half of the state with below average temperatures possible across the western third. And as we take a look at precipitation, you can see above average chances for precipitation continue across the state in the final days of January heading into early February. So that's the good news in the sense we need rain, we're going to be getting rain, but at the same time, we will have to keep an eye on the system late next week for the potential for more significant weather impacts. Some folks may end up with winter weather, especially in the western third of the state, eastern half of the state. We'll have to keep an eye out for heavier rain that could cause localized flooding and maybe some severe thunderstorm potential. But it's Friday, ladies and gentlemen, which means it is definitely time to give a shout out to our spinny doomers here on the Texas Weather Center. And there's a lot of you this week. I am impressed. Definitely appreciate everyone who's been around for a long time time, but we definitely want to welcome everyone else as well. So let's start off by saying thank you to Anthony R. Pelosi Jr., Love Live Laugh, r slash Tornado Chats, Tomas Camachio, Paranoid Pocho, Jen Kim, Jen Kim, sorry, almost mispronounced, Ryan Tucker, thank you for being a spinny doomer and a sponsor at the Texas Weather Center, Justin S., Tanya McGee, J.A., Samantha Dolson, and Sue Patik. I think that's their zeros, but hey, if you've been watching long enough and have become a Spenny Doomer, you know I'm real good at pronouncing things about as well as I was at keeping my hairline intact into my 20s and 30s. So 
Thank you very much, all of y'all, for being Spinny Doomers here on the Texas Weather Center. And again, for those of you who are Spinny Doomers and Super Dupers, we're going to be doing a live video chat, live forecast, and a live Q&A chat discussion tonight, the 24th of January at 9 p.m. Central Time here on the Texas Weather Center. So please join us for that. We'd love to be able to chat with you informally and, you know, take a look at the systems next week a little more informally and nerdy. And you know what? It, it's going to be fun. So I hope you'll join us live for that. It'll be available for recorded viewing as well. Otherwise, that is going to be it for your Friday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. We will be back Monday, at least I will be, with your next Texas Weather Roundup. Up. Mr. Meteorologist Super Duper Jason Cooley will probably be doing videos over the weekend, and who knows, if Sunday ends up doing anything mischievous, I'll be back as well, but otherwise, it's a weekend time for me, and weekends make Baldy happy, because Baldy's got to get his sleep in R&R. You can always get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, and more on the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers, where you download apps to your device, and you can visit us here on YouTube. Just search for the Texas Weather Center. We really appreciate everybody who's been joining us over the last several weeks. It's been a great start to the year for us. I realize that's because I've gotten no sleep and the weather's been crazier than a... Oh, let's find a good idiom for that. Hmm. Been crazier than a kangaroo trying to kick punch Jack Black in that movie from the 2000s. There you go. Bet you didn't think I could pull that one out of my hat, but I did. There you go. So we'll be back again. Well, we'll be back technically tonight, I guess, but uh, thank you for joining us here on the YouTube channel. Really appreciate it. If you haven't already and you appreciate the forecast or appreciate the fact I managed to stutter and stumble my way through this video, click that super duper thumbs up. That doesn't mean you'll have to like the forecast, but it does help us out with that magical algorithm. And hey, if you want to get notified when we publish new videos, just hit that subscribe button. It's free and you'll get notified when we publish new videos because apparently 2025 is the year where I don't get to sleep. So who knows? what's going to happen. We're about mostly through the first month of the year, and there's only 11 more to go. What could possibly go wrong? And if I was a good editor, this is where I would insert some sort of animated pop-up overlay of just explosions and doom, but I'm not. So with that being said, we'll chat with y'all again a bit later. Have a great Friday. Have a good weekend. And as always, God bless. Mm -hmm.